All right, today I'd like to talk to you about this Thor Optical Mini CATV RF transmitter. It does from 45 to 1000 megahertz. So what this thing is doing, what, what the setup I have here is doing, is it's taking my RF input, and this thing here is converting it to optical using fiber optic. I'm just doing a short run here, but you can run this through a much longer cable. So if you're running a master antenna system, you wanna run it to a point A to point B, and it's a longer length. If you do it with fiber optic cable, you'll be able to send it and have a lot less signal loss. Basically, when you send it via fiber optic, it's just, or sending the spectrum over to the, uh, over. So this thing is on, and I just have it set to its, uh, to its default setting, it says PT22. There's different levels of, of what you can do to transmit. So what I have it is, so I got the RF from my over the air antenna. And it, so it's all, everything's connected to this TV, which is displaying it. So I got my antenna input, which is also my master antenna set up. So I have all my antenna channels, my modulator, everything's uh, transmitting in me, the spectrum of everything from this 45 to 1000 megahertz is being sent through this out through fiber optic and I have it going to the splitter. You can use this splitter. This splitter doesn't take any power. The uh, PL1 times two PLC splitter with LGX. And there's no power on this. All this does is you just connect your fiber optic cables to that. And then it run, has a run of this fiber optic cable to this little device here, Model F RX RX Mini 2, FTTM Mini Optical Receiver. So here's a look at the optical receiver through a broadcast. So basically it's your, your fiber connection in, and then you just do your traditional coax uh, setup. So just gonna show you. So I got my antenna running through this. Now, obviously I could just connect it up this way and not have it, but this would allow you to send it through a fiber optic cable like this one to this TV. So I'm just gonna show you. Signal strength is as good here. But one thing I really wanna show you, especially I, I don't have it through the modulator, so I just wanted to show you the analog channel. So this channel here is an analog channel. How I'm doing that in this day and age, I just wanna put more into what you can do, how you create an analog channel. You can take this thing, this device here, like the Thor Broadcast Receiver. It has HDMI output, but it also has the old school uh, analog uh, output. So the neat thing what you could do with this is if you have a master antenna system, uh, like what I do, is I just uh, have this, uh, this receiver here output, and then I hook that up to a splitter, turn backwards, making it into a combiner. And then uh, I can split that along with my um, Thor digital modulator and use this as a uh, as, a, as another channel or as a receiver for that for this as well. So I got the prices right playing it here in the background. And this is off of my over the air receiver, which I have an analog output for channel three. So it's going through my coax on my master antenna system with a combiner using a splitter and then sending it throughout my TVs through the house. So there's a little bit of fragments and I'll show, show you an example of what happens. I'm gonna unplug it to, from the splitter. I'll take this plug here. So you see the connections come off there and it's, you got the old traditional snow. Now I, at first I found this was, so there you go, you got the analog signal kind of going through the fiber here. Now, if I plug it in all the way, it's it's producing way too much uh, RF output. So I just gotta kind of back it up here in this. It's better to go through the splitter here. I found this was the first mistake I made was I connected this directly to this to see how it would work. And you see that it gets a little bit snowy because the connection is not optimum to 100%. It's still a little bit snowier than if I were to plug it in through the splitter. The splitter sort of breaks it down now. I can go into this box and adjust adjust the uh, the power output for the optical uh, for, for the optical, but I'm just not going to do that now. I'm I'm going to leave it at that. Just just to show you that it can run to this device and send the analog signal. You can send analog, you send digital over the air stuff. Um, I just think that's kind of cool that it's basically sending an analog signal. You know, it's going to put that over there through this fiber optic cable. Fiber optic cables, they have these little ends here. Uh, oh yeah, one thing I wanna mention and emphasize, do not, 
<laughs> do not look into the fiber optic cable. Uh, you can burn your eye. So warning on doing that. And one very uh, thing I do like about having analog RF modulators is you can kind of get uh, a visual of the signal quality through analog. Like you could see the uh, L, uh, artifacts or whatever on the signal. Now, if I mess around, so yeah, I got this coupler here, just uh, just uh, running it through. I only have like a few feet of fiber optic cable for this demonstration. But it, if you're looking to get more and more into the fiber optic end of this, if you wanted to uh, run your master antenna system at a uh, where the application of this would uh, apply, uh, retirement homes, um, multi-dwelling units uh, for uh, redistributing uh, your own antenna. Because with an antenna and a master antenna system, there is signal loss. So this is a solution that could help make your, uh, for long run so that that antenna loss won't look so bad. So I'm gonna plug this back into here, get the signal quality a little bit better. I just wanted to test this out with the analog cable with the direct connection, just to show that I had a little issue there with that. So this goes into the input, which is, don't look into it. Mm, there we go, there's the, there's optical in right there. And then this is gonna run to the uh, receiver. There we go. And then we're running through this, the, uh, the picture quality is so much better. <laughs> So I'll go through the channels. So basically the RF cable, if I disconnect the RF cable, you lose the signal. <laughs> I like this because doing it with analog because then you get, you get to see like the, uh, that the, uh, you lose the analog signal. Uh, you get that snowy picture with, uh, with, with digital, you, uh, you just get nothing. So it's going to go through some of the channels here. So I got channel seven here and this TV doesn't really tell me the quality very great. It just shows like a bar, but it doesn't tell you a percentage or anything. On PBS Create, interested in creating things, PBS Create is a great channel. And it's the man, the legend, Bob Ross. So the cool thing here is this, uh, these units here, you can still take your, uh, your connections with this. This has a power source and you can still run your RF out to multiple TVs. So if you're in a, a one spot and you wanted to hook up this up to a splitter, you had two out. But if you wanted to use this and you had a, a other TV sets nearby, and as I said, when I went through this, what I love about a over the air master antenna system mixed in with, with a Thor modulator, either the, uh, the Thunder or the Pity, is I can switch around and it's one remote. And if you're doing a multi-home dwelling unit and they're not tech savvy people, it's like TV, what it used to be, where you don't have to have a cable box and you have to have it uh, set to HDMI or component or whatever. And then you have to have one remote to turn the TV off. This is such a great setup. It brings back like the ease of watching TV as opposed to like, now a lot of people watching this are probably very tech savvy and I can totally understand that. But what I'm talking about is, do you have a grandparent Maybe uh, if you ever um, helped out your grandparents, they might not have it easy with even a cable box or satellite box where they have to have like a remote for the TV and a remote for the cable box. I remember the analog days so much better because you could you, uh, my cable box would turn the power off of the dial TV, if you remember those old dial TVs. So that's kind of the purpose for a uh, one of these setups. It just makes it easier so that you have a clear either QAM or ATSC. I highly recommend ATSC if you're using a, as, a, as, a, as a master antenna system where you have your own um, source channels mixed in. So with this setup that I have, I have my own private digital channels, which is from the Thor uh, ATSC modulator. And I have an old RF modulator that just outputs to channel three through my Thor TV receiver that I can output channel three and have whatever I want. You can even use that Thor box and have like a whole bunch of MP4s and have like a loop of MP4s playing back on an analog channel and like have cartoons all the time or whatever, whatever you wanna watch wrestling all the time, have your own, Cl uh, classic wrestling channel. Uh, so yeah, this is a really cool uh, device. Uh, check out Thor Broadcasting's website, which I'll have a link in the description to these products. And also check out the Thor Modulator YouTube channel where they've done a lot of uh, uh, going through this stuff and explained it, probably even explained it a lot much better than me. 
So check out their channel. So if you're looking for a, a, uh, a solution for this I highly recommend checking this uh, solution out is uh, some more things to buy but if you got like say 40 to 60 100 people in a building and you want to distribute your own private master antenna system which really apartment buildings should and, and multi home dwellings should really go about doing this because cable is so expensive when a building could just put up its own antenna and run its own antenna system and then mix in a few of its own channels you can even mix in your um, security video camera at the door of the apartment building and have a channel on the tv where you can monitor the uh, security uh, video channel the entry to the building uh, channel uh, old analog uh, cable systems used to have that all the time so we should have that with digital with a with a thor modulator you could do that so i've hooked up my thor modulator receiver for ATSC and Quam. Now I have it all set up for ATSC for my prime application we're using a master antenna system so that I can take the over the air channels and combine it with uh, a few of my own private channels. So I got right now I got um, uh, WPBS and I'm getting about 81% sick with it going through this device and going to this device here which I just unplugged and there goes the signal. I'll plug that back in. So I got it going in there. So to compare that, so to connect it to, say if you want to bypass and go directly coax, it's going to be obviously with this run of cable, there's going to be more signal quality with the coax because this is, it is another device receiving the uh, spectrum and outputting it. But just to give you an idea, but also in doing this, you get a lot more distance. So 82, 86%. That's with a, without going through this system. And that's uh, so there's a little bit higher quality. Uh, obviously, if you have a uh, connection, but it's also the way the uh, way, way my cable is set up too. If I were to use this as opposed to an amplifier to send a signal from a long distance, this setup would be the ideal setup for that. As long as you have like. Uh, the amount of feet of fiber optic cable you buried underground that you would need. So it's getting 62% signal quality down to zero. Now it's at 47. So there'll be a little bit, depending on the frequencies too, some frequencies might, you might see more signal loss than others, but that's just something you want to bear in mind. Uh, I'm over on my modulator. So over on my Thor modulator, my private channel. Now I don't have uh, the modulator um putting out as uh as much power as i can have it on the default setting uh i need to bring up the power on that probably to get it from where i do have it going all the way here and going through this set system so there's less gain here just because there's a lot of coax cable traveling but if i were to run fiber optic cable this would be 100 percent. so if you like this uh, uh if you like this content please give it a like it helps me out in the youtube algorithm and also share with all your friends and nobody shares with all their friends that's fine <laughs> i just love saying that because like why are you sharing this guy's face talking about tech strange technology stuff um so please uh yeah anyway uh if you're interested let me know in the comments uh about this stuff if you have questions if you if you'd like me to make a video um with more detail on how to set up something specifically let me know in the comments i Usually I'm looking for ideas. If I find an idea that this is something that people are struggling with, I will do a video with that because it's a win-win. helps you out and it also will probably help out hundreds of other people who, uh, who watch the video as well. So if you're interested in Modulator, click on my playlist on video senders and other Thor products that I've uh, made on this channel. And also um, go, through, uh, go to my video page and you'll see tons of videos that I've uh, produced that uh, go over all sorts of really cool technical tech technology stuff out there and thank you so much for watching and you have a great day and i'll be back with more ideas for you